Welcome to another Varnberg Implement pre-owned informational series video. Today we are here with a 2015 model 1759 that we just traded in. We sold this new. Uh, the customer actually decided he liked a, wouldn't like a different tractor so we traded him back out. Uh, he's done a little bit of rotary mowing with it. The thing has only got 35 hours on it so uh, it's been very well taken care of hardly been used it hasn't even had the 50 hour service check it doesn't even need it yet um, but you can save a bunch of money off a new one it's still got uh, factory warranty uh, full coverage warranty is until January 16th of 2019 powertrain till 2022 so lots of warranty left take advantage of almost a brand new tractor it's a 1759. It features a power shuttle transmission. It's got a category one, two, three point. It's two balls with uh, inserts in it to go to cat one. One set of remote comes standard with the 1759. 540 PTO. Uh, cab version, front and rear wipers are standard equipment. Super nice tractor. This one's even got the radio in it, two door cab pop-up hood it's got the DL 135 loader we'll pop the hood up here and just show you how pop the hood up there uh, we've had a little moisture got a little drop out of their um, battery up front radiator overflow tank is right there air cleaner clean out screens oh. on the coolers condensers and the radiator we have done nothing to this tractor except put it on the lot, cleaned out the cab a little bit. There was a little bit of dust in there, but you can see this thing is virtually like brand new. Turbocharge alternator. It's 59 engine horsepower, 45.6 on the PTO. I mean, it would make a good small hay tractor, pull a rake, small round baler. Um, a small square baler. This is the, the uh, right hand side of the engine. You see the exhaust pipes turn blue and that's about it. Front wheel drive, four wheel drive. That pimp bevel gear pinion front axle gives you super high clearance, tight turning radiuses. Your quick attach, the quick detach loader. You have your couplers here, your fuel filters here. Both doors open, right hand entry or left hand entry. Left hand is going to be a little unobstructed. This has got the joystick, foot feed, and that stuff. We'll jump in the cab, show you what it's all about inside. But this is just a view of the outside. See, the blinkers are working on the front here. Front windshield wipers working. The rear flashers. The cab lights, the rear wiper, it's all working. 35 hours, it's going to work. If not, you got warranty to take care of it. Left side cab entry. Both of these back windows will open. Both of these have handles to open. The back window, all the windows except the front windshield will open. So let's jump in here, take it for a ride, teach you the controls, and then come see us at Varnberg Implement. Even the front lights work. Jump into the cab. Um, this is your left hand console. You got a 540 engagement. You can put a mid PTO on this tractor. You put it in the neutral and it makes it easier to turn the PTO shaft to line the splines up when you're hooking an implement. Put it in gear and then you've got your PTO control lever. This is soft start PTO. All you have to do is push that button for a graduated startup. Push this down, turn it a third of the turn. We'll kick the PTO on in, grad, in soft start or regular PTO. This is just whatever you select there. This is your three ranges. You got your snail. You got your turtle and your rabbit there with four gears. These four gears are synchronized with a, with a power shuttle, forward, neutral, and reverse. Non-clutchable on the shuttle. You don't have to use the clutch. You can if you want, but you do not have to use a clutch with this. This you need to use a clutch. The ranges you need to be stopped. You have your four wheel drive engagement. 
If you look at the decal, the arrow in is engaged the four-wheel drive, disengaged. Here's the side windows open, door opens, rear window opens. The front and rear lights that are up on top of the cab are right there. That's your rear wind wiper, this is your front wiper. There's a little light red light there that lights it up in the night. Air conditioning, heating controls. We'll fire them up here in a little bit. It's a little warm out here and sticky in Missouri. Uh, window over there, speakers, air vents, radio, AM, FM, weather band, radio. Shut the door, push the clutch, fire that up. Air conditioner is cooling and I can already feel it. You have a dome light there, tilt steering. You can push that button right there. Allows it to tilt to different positions. Even has a horn. This is your forward neutral reverse lever. This is your hazard lights. This does have a diesel particulate filter. You can push this button here and it'll show you your soot level. This diesel particulate filter only regens when it needs to. You can actually force it into regen by using that button there but you've got a soot level indicator and it'll only generate when the soot gets full. If you operate it, you may not see very many uh, particulate filter uh, regenerations with this tractor because of it only needs it when it does it. A lot of tractors do it on time and it uh, it's not as efficient, it's not as premium uh, system as the 1759 has on it. You got your four you actually got your joystick and you can see the loaders going down it's nice and fast you can actually do both functions it does have a float position if you watch here float position drops it to the ground you can still do your tilt which is great for snow removal back dragging and wanting to smooth out stuff you can leave it in float but you can adjust your your bucket angle that you want got rocky ground in the spring adjust that put the pressure on the back end tilt the front end up you've got a bucket gauge indicator that rod with the yellow little yellow there that's level right in there if i cock it down here i'm gonna have the front end of the bucket up put the back end on the ground and you'll blade your get your snow off there but you won't scoop up your gravel and put it in your grass where you're going to dump your snow probably we talked about the left hand console you do have a parking brake here you just push in to disengage push it to engage it. We talked about the PTO control. This is manual throttle here. This is foot throttle over here. Um, this is your start position. It does have a preheat position that will show up. Uh, coming over to the right hand console. You do have a lock on your loader. You can lock that and that will keep anybody from messing with your joystick. Or if you're mowing grass, you can raise your loader, lock it, keep you from accidentally doing it. That's a nice feature there. Your loader joystick. Third function can still be added to this tractor. We got them in stock. This is your raise and lower on your three point. This is draft control. You have position control and draft control. You can set uh, upper and lower limits with those stops there and you have one set of remote valves. That's pretty much all the controls except one of the coolest features of this tractor. One of the cool features of this seat besides the adjustment here is this button right here. It's going to show you the different starting levels. We'll just set this right here. Pick up your seat. You can adjust it to three different starting heights. You can see how there's one adjustment, there's two, and then back to three different starting heights. Got long legs, you're going to crank, raise it up. You still got the same amount of spring suspension. Um,
listen to that engine purr man this is a very very quiet engine on the 1700 premium series tractor we do have skid steer quick attach and I always make sure those are good and latched because if somebody came and had one of those part way the bucket would come off and could injure you or damage your tractor that's something to check every time got a nice big bucket man it ain't hardly he's got a few little scratches in there but he ain't hardly even used that bucket we're gonna set up the tripod ride and drive show you how to operate this tractor A little bit to start the transmission we're just going to drive it here a little bit drop the loader bucket down here where it's nice and safe low and slow is always the best rule on loader bucket height uh, your forward reverse shuttle you got four gears we're going to put it in first we're going to put it in the snail forward direction knock off the brake yep I think a snail could beat us right now but if you may need slow speed for garden garden work that stuff this tractor has got it second gear third gear and fourth gear 
to speed up your next thing you're going to do is go to your range we're going to come over here to turtle come back to first in the forward position now we're moving you want to go back you do not have to touch the clutch just forward and reverse we'll give her a little throttle here you can just simply move that shuttle lever forward neutral and reverse you can bring it to neutral it's going to stop the tractor it still can roll go back to forward you want to you want to shift gears push the clutch in come back to second now we're going third and fourth you can do it you can do it on the rise and then you still have forward reverse shuttle in each one of those in every gear in all 12 you got four and three well, now we're going to shift her up put her in high range hang on for a fast ride and then a massey ferguson got lots of speed choices for lots of work and lots of different applications and you still have your forward reverse shuttle all the way to 12th gear forward and reverse we'll shift her up to second and the third and now in the fourth road speed that's the transmission operation of the Massey Ferguson 1759 power shuttle that's going to be the same as any uh, 1700 premium power shuttle version uh, the 1759 is a little bit uh, got a little more hydraulics a little bigger beefier rear end than the the, uh, the large 1758 uh, 1754 premium hydrostat this tractor starts transitioning into our 4600M series. Uh, it starts out at 70 horse, so 70 engine. So we're we're moving up from 60, 59 to 70, and then there's a 90 and a 100, 100 horsepower version. So if you're looking for something a little larger than this, check out the 4600 series. Uh, it's basically the next step up from the 1700, and I do have some pre-owned ones of those in stock. Uh, we just traded for a 4610. Uh, good tractor uh, we've sold a lot of them but uh, come check out our pre-owned inventory here at Varnberg Implement I'm gonna hate getting out of this nice cool cab and getting back out in the elements but we've got another tractor to shoot uh, and it's open station so I get to go work and go sweat a little bit out in the outdoors come check out this 2015 Massey Ferguson 1759 at Varnberg Implement and if you come after hours, we've got the price right here on the tractor. Camp versions have our sticker price sheets already in them. We try to tag everything else. You can operate the PTO from out externally. So if you want an auger or something like that, but come check out this tractor. Visit Varnberg Implement in West Central Missouri at the corner of 13 Highway and Business 13 or Fairground Avenue in Higginsville, Missouri. We got lots of tractors from 22 and a half horsepower compacts all the way up to the highest horsepower tractors used tractors hay tools and more come visit us at Varnberg Implement we're your West Central Missouri Massey Ferguson dealer or if you're outside of West Central Missouri visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer and they can help you too